that my real one so Stood by me and yeah, you never switched up Even in all the times I messed up Yeah, yeah, you were one in a million And that my What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're doing a room tour and I'm super excited because it's Christmas theme. I do have my Christmas tree already up. Backstory, I currently live with my mom. I've been here for probably like almost two years now. I have my own place, but I moved back home to save money. So I always wanted a pink room. I'm really into home decor. So I thought like, why not get the pink Christmas tree out the way too? I always want to give you guys a room tour. I just never felt like it was quite ready. I don't feel, I still don't feel like it's quite ready, but it's now or never. I really want to show you guys my Christmas tree and also an update on the dresser that I did. So yeah, let's go ahead and go in. I'm so excited for this video. I'm so proud of my creation. All right. So this is my room. Now it is a very, very small room, if you can't tell. All right, so where do I start? Let's start on the dresser. So I don't know if you guys remember this dresser that I made or I actually repainted and changed the knobs on it. So this is the update of it. It still looks good. Um, it does, I wouldn't recommend putting any and everything on it. This is from Admire My Skin, so a chemical peel. So I just used to just like literally sit it up here and it created that stain. But other than that, it's still holding up very good. So let's start over here. This Hello Kitty I got as a graduation present for graduating college. My favorite aunt got it from me. And for some reason, I always kept on hold on to it. I love that it was a pink Hello Kitty. And this is the crown that I'm actually wearing in my avatar. So if you ever see my YouTube avatar, that's the crown. And then I only went to Pride one time with my best friend ron shout out to ron i literally only went once with him and i had a great time even though it ended very shortly and i just wanted to i thought it looked cute around her neck she's a queen and also an ally so i thought that would be really cute now this is my perfume collection um my favorite would have to be paris hilton my favorite have to be paris hilton the bling edition just our self-titled body spray or perfume spray i love it i literally probably brought about six of these i love them i've already done a video on my favorite dolce and gabbana chanel number no. five chanel chance um Nicki minaj believe it or not i just think this is called majesty really i love the way that smell this is a little bit left of the daisy mark jacobs um juicy couture Juicy Couture, which I thought, I love that one as well. Vera Wang, Princess. These are just some of my favorites that I have up available. So yeah, that's why I keep all of my perfume. This is the book that I'm reading right now. I've been reading, trying to read it for like the last year. Pray for me, I'm not really a book reader, but I really want to get into reading books. I got this Ross from Home Goods. Yeah, Home Goods. And I got some hydrangeas in there. These are plastic. I only put plastic flowers in my room unless somebody buys me flowers. And I also got this photo or this portrait, whatever you want to call it, from TJ Maxx. And that's how it looks all the way from the back. But yeah, I'm really, I feel like this is the, the area that has the most work to do. This is the pocketbook that I been carrying lately I just literally just put it right there so when I walk out I could just grab it and go all right and I got this love I literally got this from Ross for about seven dollars still has a price tag on it or eight dollars I thought that was super adorable it was like one of the first things that I brought from my room because I knew for a fact that I would want a pink room so I got that like early on like maybe when I first moved back here so let's go over here to my little nightstand. Now this candle that I'm burning is called Wild Poppies. I got this from Ross as well. Um, it's almost gone, but I'm really into like flower smells, clean smells. My favorite, my favorite um, smell or candle from Bath and Body Works is Weather Weather. I haven't been there lately. I need to just go ahead and order me some because I am in love with that candle. 
Now this is like a little compartment that I got to house my remotes. Um, I think every, we don't have a lot of space. I feel like you should definitely have a house for everything. So this is the home for my remotes. And this is like a, le a mirrored H. This is for my fiance, his last name. It was in our old place and I made sure to bring it here. And then these are just some plastic flowers that I got a long time ago from Home Depot. No, Home Goods. I got that from Home Goods. And then if you pan down, this is where I keep all the miscellaneous stuff. Like basically, if I just want to put something away really quickly, I put it over here. This is my journal and then my laptop cover, another candle, a fan if I get too hot. I love fans on the sweater and then these are some creams that I use for my hands and then these are your gift cards for for the giveaway my retainer my charger and then I got this whole little you dig from Ikea and this is only a $30 um, this is only a $30 nightstand, but I've kept it with me. My dog bit on it, don't judge it. But it's very durable for only $30. And I just put whatever like junk in there, like my bills, whatever. I need to just keep out of plain sight. I put it in there, but everything up here, I literally take out and put back in. So here is my bed, or we can go up here to show you guys. Okay, so this painting I got from Home Goods. Uh, in the kids section, don't judge me, I do gravitate towards more youthful things. Now, I got the bedspread from Overstock. I got the bedspread from Overstock. I got these two pillows from Overstock. I got that one from Overstock. I just really went crazy. I wanna keep the color, the white and blush going. I did change my bedding recently. And previously it was like a different it was the same color but different um it wasn't as furry but i changed it to this i feel like a little it feels a little bit more grown up and i just wanted to you know do something different and new and then over here are my curtains now these are the latest additions to my room i got the cur both of these panels from burlington the pink ones are by bb and the one in the middle is also by bb but I think I want to change the one in the middle to match the top. See how if you put it on the rod, it has a circle. I don't like how they're not uniform, but I think they're still really, really cute. They have a lot of sparkle to them. These are room darkening, so meaning that when I have these clothes, they will literally be like, it will be pitch black in here. I love these. I love that I can sleep in now. I love that I mix both like silver, gold, glitter. I just want to bling everywhere, but these curtains are to die for. I feel like out of everything, they like pull the whole entire room together. Okay, so let's go over here. It's also a later edition. It says Hustle Harder, and it is made by BB as well. I got this from Burlington. It's actually velvet. I think that is so adorable. And then it ties in the gold and the silver and it just says hustle harder. I feel like this is my motivation. Every time I get up every morning, it says love, but hustle harder. You heard? Um, I really love that. My mom picked that out for me. I feel like she did a perfect job with picking that out in order to make sure it ties in the whole room. So that ottoman, we're gonna do the Christmas tree last. That ottoman is storage. I basically use it as storage. It has like miscellaneous things in here. Just like an extra sheet. There's my professional camera, some J's, some sanitary napkins, whatever I need. I just put it in there. Again, everything needs a home. So I know if I put it in there, I don't use it often, but it's still kept away cute and then you can see that it has a gold detailing at the bottom the whole theme of the room is blush and like metallics and I just keep this here because I don't have a lot of closet space and I want to make sure I just keep it um, not flat because I don't have a dust bag for it I have to get a dust bag in order to make sure it's, it's basically 
store properly. So over here is my hamper. And this is Seppi bed. Seppi, go get in your bed. So that's his bed. People say, like, why does he have such a big bed for a small dog? I don't know. He likes big beds. He's a has a big personality. He won't sleep in a bed that's too small for him or the right size for him. Okay, so also I got this rug. This rug, I got it from Ross as well. I had a different rug before this one. It was more white, but I thought this time I wanted like a um a rug that can pull in the pink because like my bedding is so white. So I thought like no more fur. I want to do something pink related, and I love that it's different shades of pink. So meaning that no matter what shade of pink I bring in here, it's gonna go together. So it tied in perfectly with my room. So let's go over here to the Christmas tree now. This Christmas tree has been in the making for probably since I was three years old. All right, I've been loving Christmas since I was a little girl. So I thought I'm gonna move back on my fiance next year. So let me go ahead and for the last Christmas that I'm living solo, let me get a pink Christmas tree. I'll probably um, do it again if I have like an office space or something like that, but I don't know, you never compare the future. So the Christmas tree itself came online from walmart.com it is five feet five feet tall and it is heavily themed based on my personality i love bows so that's why my tree topper is a bow i got the bow from hobby lobby it's an organza bow now this is a high low tree meaning that there's ornaments on this tree that cost about 10 to 12 dollars and then there's ornaments that cost two dollars or one dollar so this is like a real legit glass ornament. I got that from Hobby Lobby. I think they were about $13. I got that because I'm a YouTuber now. I love the camera, I love taking pictures. And then I got this one, which is really cute from Walmart. Um, no, actually, yeah, Walmart. I can tell by how it feel where it came from. Walmart, so that was like $2 or so two or $3. And I got this cute sugar cookie from Hobby Lobby. These spiral things came from Walmart. Now, I will let you know, I don't know if everybody's on a pink Christmas tree this year, but like literally everything that I wanted that was pink related was heavily sold out. And I went before Halloween. So good luck finding out if you can find something with pink theme, because everybody's going crazy over pink this year. Um, I have a black ballerina. I love the black ballerina. I have some crystals because crystals can manifest, you know, good energy. And this one lights up, so I will turn it off so you can see it off. So that's off. And that's on. I think that's so cute. That's one of my favorites. Now, I did get these cupcakes from Hobby Lobby. They're literally like picks that you put in the tree. I got the last of all of them. So they had plain ones and they had ones with sprinkles. I wanted all sprinkles, but literally they were all, like selling out. And I love this one. I got this one from Walmart. This was about $3 and this is the last one I can find. And then this one is from Hobby Lobby. It, um, it's an Eiffel Tower. Again, Paris is one of my favorite cities, even though I've never been there before. And then this is a unicorn. I love unicorns. I got that from Walmart. This popsicle stick is from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was so adorable. Unicorn here. I love that one. I love that it has rainbow here. Hobby Lobby. I have a milkshake down there. Milkshake came from Walmart. Super cute. And then these came from Walmart too. I got like six of them for about um, $7. Now I did put fur and some ribbon that I got from, some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby on there. I feel like without the fur and the ribbon, it will probably make it look a little less um, 
decorate it. I like my tree to be very congested. I like for every part of the tree that you look at, there's something to look at. I got these flowers from Walmart. These sticks from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have an ice cream cone over there. Ice cream cone came from Hobby Lobby. Another unicorn right there. White Santa Claus. I really wanted a black Santa Claus, but I thought he had a cute pink hat, so why not? What else can I show you guys without moving my tree? Oh, I love this one. I got this one from Walmart. Super adorable. What else? Oh, an elephant. I got an elephant because elephants are very, very good luck. Now it's like cute and pink, why not? I knew my tree would be white, so I knew I had to put a lot of color on it. I do recommend if you do get a white tree, make sure you have a lot of color. A lot, a lot of color. Oh, I love this Holly Jolly. I got that from Walmart. And I have a donut down there if you can't see it. Um, that's from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, this is my Christmas tree. out of my room I really am it took me a while to put everything together and get everything together but it all came together in the end and I still want to put a couple of more a few things up here maybe like a picture frame or something unique so this is everything I hope you guys liked it oh I got this rug from Walmart as well it was the last one there um, again, if you want a pink themed tree, but then you get off, first finish this video, and then get up and go, go find you some pink ornaments, because they're going to go quickly. But yeah, so this is my room. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, make sure you comment, and also like or subscribe, and share this video if you care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.